Hi guys and welcome back to my player and club guide. This one's going to be for Hamilton. So Hamilton are in the Premier League. If we look at the general information here, they are predicted to finish 12th, which is bottom of the Scottish Premier League. Their local rivals are Motherwell, Airdrie, Albion Rovers and Party of Thistle. Um, so if we go to the sorry, the player report. So most of it, Donati is one of seven players that can play midfield. It's good depth for midfield. Gary was the best of three keepers, able to play in goal. Uh, Thomas is one of the best of some players at centre back. Skodars is a very good option at right back. Uh, we've already had that. I don't know if we've already had that. There's a number of talented young prospects. So Rico Katongo, um, his brother's playing at Morton. Lewis Smith and Lewis Ferguson. Um, right, so let's look at the negatives. Could do with one just Scott McMahon at left back. There's only 50k in the transfer budget. There's lack of quality after Skodas at right back. There's not a good deal of quality outside the first team. Some players aren't the strongest physically. Uh, no teamwork. There isn't enough players who have a first touch. The overall quite a pass in the squad is the disappointment so quite a bit to do we happen I think so let's have a look at the squad so you've got Gary Woods decent goalkeeper and then you've got Ryan Fulton former uh, Liverpool goalkeeper um, so he's possibly four star potential in the future three to four star potential in the future uh, Gary Woods is three and a half so and you've got uh, Darren Jameson as well so you've got three keepers so you don't need to worry about that you can maybe even sell one of them maybe let's sell Gary Woods or sell Darren Jameson just whatever one you want free up a wee bit of money wages whatever uh, you're going to obviously keep a hold of Skodas uh, Thomas so you've got Ceres Garrick Devlin and Watt. Watt's a reserve player, you probably put him back to the reserve. So you've got three, four, three to four decent centre halves there. Uh, left back, obviously, we wanted to discover a look at McMahon. So you're looking to bring in a centre half, a, a right back and a left back if possible. Uh, maybe be able to get somebody in loan pretty cheap um, or on a free transfer. So you've got most of the Donati, who's a defensive midfielder. Ross Cunningham, the young start right back, uh, uh, right wing, sorry. Juan Hughes, a uh, good winger, right midfielder for the future. Grant Gillespie is a decent ball winning. He's going to do a job for you at this level. Decent ball winning midfielder. Darren McKinnon, uh, another ball winning midfielder. He's three to four stars. So, and you've got uh, Darren Lyon, there's another one future, only 22. You've got Greg Dockery, who is a Carolario, whatever that position is, um, who's four star to five star potential. Uh, he's only 20 year old. So, this young man here could uh, really progress into a really good player in the future for you. Um, so I'd maybe try to get him signed up on a longer term contract. He's got great physicals, uh, mentals are looking pretty good and he's obviously got decent technicals. So this is, as Hamilton, you're going to have to rely on these young players uh, coming through. Uh, so Danny Redman at left mid, you've got um, Potty Baya Bai, who on loan for Swansea, um, who had decent run at Falkirk, so he's okay. He'll do a job, he's more of a squad player, I think. Uh, you've got Stephen Boyd, another 
uh, youngster, 20 year old, two and a half star to four and a half star potential. Uh, Ali Crawford, who's already four and a half star, so he's your, your star man. If you can hang over to him, hang on to him, you're not going to have a better opportunity of progressing. David Templeton and Doug Emery are both sort of older. David Templeton's going to be a bit injury prone, you have to watch out there. Uh, up front, you've got Rik- Rikish Bingham and Ro- Road Jono. Um, and obviously, uh, Bye Bye can play there as well. But you maybe look to bring another one in. So I'd look to shift on one of your goalkeepers um, at the moment. Bringing a right back, a left back. And a striker, so three players there would uh, add, add strength to the team. If we now look at the team report squad depth, uh, no, um, tactics. So, you're, you're going to the recommended tactics is a four, one, two, two. Um, so you look, uh, it does, right. So this is Sergio McNan, Thomas, Saris, and Skoda. But remember, I think uh, Emery's pretty good. Uh, no, Emery Devlin's pretty good when he comes back as well. Um, Donati, Gillespie, and Dockery. So good, strong there. And then you've got Redmond and Crawford and Rojo up front. So a decent, decent setup there. If you look at the staff now, um, the goalkeeping's not too bad. You're nine. You've got one space there, so you maybe look to maybe move some of these on and bring in somebody better. You're scouting. You've still got three spaces there, so you can bring this up. Um, and you've got the fourth best medical staff in the league at the moment. So there's not a lot of work to do on the medical side of things. If we look at the under twenty one squad now. Right, so you've got Rico Kutongo, who's a left back. So you can maybe, even if you couldn't afford to buy a left back, you can maybe promote him to the the first team squad. Uh, one, one, one and a half stars. He could do as a backup. Uh, the, the game time and being in with the first team players may help him develop. But he's, he has got potential. Uh, Lewis Smith, again, three and a half to four and a half star potential. He's looking pretty good in the same with Lewis. Bruce Ferguson. I'll let you have a wee look at these players yourself um, to work out who who's decent and who's not. But you've maybe got a few there you can you can move on. So if I look at the finances now, so your overall budget, your overall balance, sorry, is 2.4 million. Um, your wage budget is 23, so and your current spending 22, so you've got about 2,000 pounds. So you get 50k and 2,000 pounds. Maybe you're really good, but we bring in one player. Uh, income, no, there's no income I usually go to. Loans and debts, you've got no get any. Sponsorship, so you could back a shirt sponsor of 5k for one year. Uh, main kit sponsor is 16k for three years, so a total of 50,000. Away kit is 25. Stadium, you've got a stadium sponsor of 30k a year for three years, so 90k, and another one for 100k. So they've got a wee bit of money coming in there. Um, what else do I use the show? I think that's it for for this this episode, guys. So um, it's not the the strongest squad. I think you really struggle to to stay in the league with this team. Some good young players. So the way forward with this with this squad, it's maybe a good one for a long term squad. Uh, save so that you can have a look at the youngsters and try and progress them. The main thing you want to do is try and keep a hold of your best players, like likes of Rakish Bingham, um, Ali Crawford, uh, Greg Docker. You can hold on to these guys. There's a possibility you may hang on to your Premier League status. Um, you've got Devlin to come back. So you've not got, you've not got any money. You've not got a lot of options, but 
there is a chance that you could avoid relegation if you, you play the youngsters and play them well. So guys, this has just been a quick wee uh, looking at the club, looking at the finance and things like that. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this or some, I do some lights plays and things like that as well. Please hit the subscribe button. But thank you very much for tuning in today. I'll speak to you next time.